And this is Kaleem. Uh, as we all know that Pickering Rock Bridge is the fastest growing city in uh, Ontario. We know like there is a lot of, lot of changes coming in Pickering, like infrastructure, new, new real estate development, and uh, more to come for small businesses and uh, for families like uh, uh, better childcare. So let's sneak in and talk to the MP of Pickering Uxbridge, Jennifer O'Connor, what she has to say about all this. Hi Jennifer, uh, first of all congratulations for your victory uh, and uh, how do you feel about it? I feel really good. Uh, I'm excited that the people of Pickering Uxbridge re-elected me. Um, it's a community I've grown up in my entire life so to be able to represent this community in Ottawa is a, a huge thrill for me and um, it felt really good also our voter turnout and our numbers were even better than 2015 which sent a strong message about I think the kind of representative that we need in Ottawa representing the residents of Pickering Exbridge. And uh, how, what, 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 what do you support the government decision making for uh, transit like bridges, roads, etc. Like what, what development you think like in coming uh, down the road it's going to be in Pickering? Infrastructure is a huge part of our government's agenda the last uh, four years, our mandate. And prior to being the member of parliament, I was actually a city councillor and mm. regional councillor here in Durham. And um, our government actually made the largest single investment in Durham Region Transit in the last mandate, uh, $98 million. This is significant for our community. And we're going to continue to invest in uh, sustainable projects like building up bridges and roads and uh, also community projects. There are a few here that we're really supportive of and there'll be more announcements made in the future. Yeah, we saw a lot of development in the past and hope uh, more is coming in. And uh, what do you think about small businesses? Like, uh, what are your plans? Uh, is, there, uh, is there any help coming in for small businesses? or like government funding so we can you can you know like small businesses are encouraged to open more in Pickering. Absolutely the small businesses are the backbone of our economy it's one of the reasons why we actually dropped and reduced the small business tax rate uh, in our last mandate in addition to that I think to point to your question about how to encourage more businesses to open uh, we've created funds to help entrepreneurs su succeed in our economy and in particular more women entrepreneurs that's an area we definitely need more and so we're always going to work and make uh, additional investments to make sure that we have the type of economy that is conducive to entrepreneurs and small businesses. That's great news for the small businesses and uh, how, what are your planning and how are you going to plan uh, creating more jobs growth and attract more investments in Pickering? So one of the things our government's been doing is making investments that do, does create that type of growth. In terms of in Pickering, you know, we need to work to ensure that we are making the right kinds of investments that are going to bring job creators here. Uh, I mentioned earlier the investment in transit. That's significant because you need to be able to get your employees right. to and from work. And so it's these types of investments. The other thing that's crucial in our community here is broadband. And so our government has committed to uh, every household having high-speed broadband band and it's not just households I mean that's businesses right. and so in Pickering you'd be surprised that uh, that's still an issue certainly North Pickering and Uxbridge uh, that's a critical need and businesses can't thrive unless in you know in yeah. this uh, environment unless you have access to broadband right. so that's going to be critical to job creation for sure and how about affordable housing do you have any plans uh, to create affordable housing in Pickering 
and next Rich. Yeah, so we've actually already um, made some announcements. It's more for Durham region as a whole, um, but we've already made announcements for some new affordable housing units. Our national housing strategy is key to this. It's the, again, largest investment in housing that this country has ever seen. So as projects come forward, there are affordable housing units, for example, in Pickering and Uxbridge that need refurbishment. So that's part of the plan as well and uh, we're going to keep working with our Durham region partners to make sure there is adequate housing in this region. Okay, and I was uh, uh, talking to a few homeowners and they're a little concerned about the, the property taxes. What do you have to say about it? Yeah, well, given my background in municipal, municipal politics, I do understand that. I think from a federal perspective, one of the best ways we can partner to help municipalities in dealing with property taxes are the types of investments in infrastructure. Um, I spoke about the transit investment. There are other investments in things, our cultural spaces, um, in Uxbridge and some of its major critical uh, infrastructure that they need and so by the federal government investing in these things it helps municipalities not have to you know increase property taxes so much and these are the types of infrastructure projects that are quite expensive but necessary sure. and that's where we can partner and really make a big difference for homeowners in our community okay that's a great news then and uh, how, what do you think about uh, the duck Ford, uh, trying to cut down 16,000 uh, jobs uh, and increase the class size and cut down uh, on the kindergarten full-time thing. So what do you have to say about it? Well, certainly I think one of Canada's competitive advantages is our education system. You know, our employees are world-renowned in the sense of our education system. And so I believe in a really strong education system. I think we need to be making improvements. But with that being said, there's obviously um, a lot going on in this province right now. And we also, as a government, we support fair, you know, uh, labor negotiations. And so I hope that work continues. And I hope all parties stay at the table so that you know our young people can get a great quality education sure. and go on to be our economic drivers sure. and finally uh, how about the parent working parents mm -hmm. uh, about uh, uh, your uh, what are you planning to do for them to have a quality child care and uh, how they can avail it yeah, this is a huge issue that we heard about it during the election and in the, our last mandate. So during the election and our platform, we actually committed to creating 250,000 new child care spaces, like at, before and after school spaces, as well as reducing the cost. I think this is something that, um, as Canadians and certainly somebody in the GTA in Ontario, is a big issue, and I think our government's going to have to work hard on this one and partner with provinces of how to deliver affordable childcare because it matters to so many people and it's something we heard a lot about. So we made that announcement, like I said, in platform, but I think there's going to be more work to, to do on that issue. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, Jennifer. It was always a pleasure talking to you.